So welcome to the second part of an engulfing pattern of this episode, episode three, to the engulfing pattern. So we talk about in the, in the first uh, part, we talk about uh, the different variations or varieties of uh, engulfing. I mean, different forms in which a golfing can, can be represented. So you have to master it, you know. I want you to, you can print it out or draw it out in the paper and place them, you know, behind your desk or whatever, so that you don't miss out on the pattern. How to, how to identify the patterns in the chart. How to identify the pattern in the chart. Let's quickly, maybe quickly do that. How do you, how do you identify the pattern in the chart? How to identify the patterns in the chart? Let's change this to candle stick, you know. So here we have a we have a golfing here. This is this is a golfing. You can use a we can use a pounds that it should not be like only this is we are you are doing this. Japanese France Japanese. Japanesian, this is Japanesian. Then we have here, we have a, let's cut it out from here. Let's imagine this is what, this is where we, 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 we were right now, right? This is where we, we come to be. This is where the market has given us this setup. So what you need to do is to mark out, is this a, 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 a bullish engulfing? You not, I will not mark out this place like this. It's too, for me, it's too high. It's too large. It's too large. What I will do is, what I will, this is engulfing zone, right? But if you are comfortable with it, fine. So, if you are comfortable with it, this is fine. That is fine. This is engulfing zone. This is engulfing. As long as this country engulfs this, this engulfing is this engulfing. This is bullish engulfing. This is bearish engulfing. As long as this country engulfs here, we have this as bearish engulfing. And price taps into it and comes down. This is bearish engulfing. Sorry, bullish engulfing. As long as you see the variation here, as long as we have this, the whole this in there be engulfed. Mm -hmm. by the body of this candle. Can you see it? Don't, you don't need to put this one with it. This one is okay. So it's not be too large. And price tap into this zone and, uh, you know, it went higher. That's engulfing. That's engulfing for you. That's engulfing. So you mark them out. You mark them out because you are waiting for price to come into the zone. Yeah, you mark them out. Yeah, price does not come into the zone here. Yeah. There's something here. This is a gap. In the push we will go to make mention of go talk about right now. This engulfing, this engulfing that creates a zone there. This is a rally base rally. Rally base rally. We call it in supply and demand the, the stuff. So this is a, an, an engulfing zone. You can see the way I'm marking out my engulfing zone. This is an engulfing zone. This is daily charts. And go visible. And go visible. This is a visible, right? But here we have another type of engulfing that we call a field, a field engulfing. You know, maybe we, we talk about that field engulfing or flipped engulfing, flipped engulfing. You know, we have the regular engulfing pattern. Then we have what if engulfing fails? When engulfing fails, what happens? That 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 brings us to the another type of uh, engulfing named as a uh, other field or I call it as flipped flipped engulfing flipped engulfing. If this is a bullish candle, then we have a then we have the bearish candle like this. Probably the body of this went up like this. If this is a, if this is the week, hmm, then we have a, 
this, right? So, yeah, so now, this is engulfing. When you mark out like this, when you mark it out like this, Now, you know, we expect price to do what? We expect price to come into this zone, hmm? to serve from that zone and start moving downward, right? This is our intention. But what of if that intention fails? Our expectation fails. The market fails our expectation. What happens? If you see this, price was moving up higher. Hmm? Price was moving up, was moving up, going up. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Instead of price to push higher, it starts moving up. By going up, mm -hmm. the touch zone and move up higher. So this is a breakout. It's a breakout of this uh, top of the zone. It's a breakout. So here we say a golfing has failed. Failed a golfing. We say a good a golfing has failed. So it has not become what? It has not become a flipped one. A changeover into a buy, not no longer sell. So you 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 are not buying, you are no longer selling because this economy has failed. It ought to deliver a selling market, but it failed to deliver a selling market as long as price broke through it and closed above it. Either with this candlestick like this, we have a, a close like this. Mm -hmm. When you have a close like this, this is a failed, this become a failed engulfing. So the next candlestick will come down to the to retry it. You don't remove it. You don't remove the, you don't need to remove the, the DC. You don't need to remove the, 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 the zone. You leave the zone as it is because you are going to use it to, to buy when a coffee fails. When a coffee fails, you are going to use it to buy. So you buy when you see price move into this zone and you buy into it. You buy into it. You buy into it. So we call this as what? As a flipped engulfing or failed engulfing. Flipped engulfing. Engulfing zone. So flip engulfing zone. When we come to trading plan, you'll be able to see how we trade that. This is a flip engulfing zone. Hmm? This is the flip zone, the breakout zone. This is the this is this this creates a, a the high of the engulfing zone. This is the resistance. Then it come back into it to become a support mm -hmm. to hit the support level and that starts moving higher. So that is that is that. Then the other side is the opposite. If you are if you have a bearish or, or bullish engulfing pattern. If you have bullish and coffee pattern with this candle like this, you have this, then probably you may have a, something like this. So what you need to do is you want to mark out this zone, right? You want to mark out this zone. Mm -hmm. Looking for price to come into it, right? So this is a golfing pattern, a bullish a golfing pattern. So that means price ought to, our uh, expectation the price will come into the zone. So we buy into it, mm -hmm. going moving higher. But if that expectation fails, if it fails to deliver, what happens? It will turn to what? It will turn to a selling market. When a golfing fails, you, you trade it in the opposite side. It turns like this. Turns to this. And turns to this. Yeah. So if you face, once it fails, you start, you have a breakout, a candlestick that takes out the low of this a golfing. The low of this zone is taken out. This is this. With a close below it, not a, with a weak. Please note that, not with a weak. You want to see a close with a body above it. That's a volume. The body, you know, the body represents a volume. So we want to see a weak close below it and above it. So that's a change in hand to confirm a change in hand. Yeah, a change in structure. So there's a change in structure now from 
bullish above you to to a new uh 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 bearish and coffee it's a change in hand can you see now this has become the new bearish and coffee now it has become a new bearish and coffee Yeah, any bearish and coffee. So that when price comes in, mm -hmm. this one has failed. Price will tap into this, into this new zone. If you tap into this new zone, price will start moving higher. Tap into this new zone. Price will tap into this zone. Mm -hmm. And then, start selling down because this guy this new uh, golfing pattern will be push, pushing it downward i guess going up hmm? to start selling down to start selling down to start selling down so you're no longer buy you are selling you are selling from here from this new zone now you are selling from here you're selling from here so when we get to this, we will be able to know the trade plan. We will to know how to trade the flip zone. So that's a, that's another second part of the the, the different uh, type of engulfing. We have we have the hidden engulfing. We have the regular engulfing, which have, we have have really dealt with. Then we have the flip engulfing. The flip engulfing. The flip engulfing. Hmm? Flip engulfing. That means when engulfing fails. Where a government face like this, hmm? this is the this is the stuff, right? It's supposed to it's supposed to click here, but this is a zone. This is a zone, right? This is a zone. If this is a zone, it's supposed to click here and and move higher, hmm? and move higher. But instead of that, it breaks through it and close below this level, then starts moving out, then coming. Okay, so you change. There's a, there's a change in direction. Change in direction of the of the previous trend. It's a change in direction of the previous trend. It's a change in direction of the previous trend. So this become what this become your new ecofi level. Yeah. So we call this place flip. So the the opposite is for the for buy. If you have a if you have a this is bearish engulfy. Hmm? This is supposed to be price will come here. Then start moving downward. It's from the zone. This is a zone, right? This is a zone. This is a zone. But instead of that, it comes in like it breaks out of that the high of the zone. Then it comes into it. So you are looking to buy. You are no more longer selling because price has changed its direction. You are no longer selling because price has changed its direction. You turn to buy, right? So that is that for flip and gobby. We can see it here. We we'll see it in this in this place. This is flip and golfing. Can you see flip and golfing? Yeah, this is a flip and golfing. Hmm? This is a flip and golfing. Can you see price? Instead of price moving down, 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 down to give you your expected profit, it breaks through it. Hmm? It breaks through it with a close. Come back into this. This is a retest. So you now buy from here above. You are no longer selling. You are no longer selling. But because to if you watch here in between here we have a, what we have our bullish and coffee here that initiated this move. Can you see that initiated this move? Bullish and coffee initiated this move in against to what this guy did here. Hmm? So this become a flipped and coffee. This become the regular and coffee bullish uh, bullish and coffee. This is a flipped one or a, a bearish and coffee, right? When price break through it become a a flipped and coffee. This place. This place. So we use it as a as a this thing. Now this is a bull a, 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 a bearish. Also, this is a, a flip and goffy. This is a flip and goffy here. Hmm? Initially press was press was coming down like this. Let me maybe I should just.
and you see that initially price was coming. This is our new, that's, this is our original plan, right? But let's see what price did. Let's see what price did. Price broke, it, come, it, it went upward because we were to sell. Once you get to this zone, right? We have to sell downward. We have to sell downward. But what happened? I see it broke through it, got to this high. You see the big, the big move. Hmm? The big move. The big move. It's break, it breaks above this place, above the high of the distance. So it's no longer it's a failed uh, engulfing. It's a failed engulfing. They create another, another this in here right now. You are waiting for it to, to, to come down here into this zone because it has become a flip. This is so we want to buy from here, from this zone now. We want to buy from this zone, no longer selling. We want to buy from this zone. It has created this has become a strong high. Why this place has become a, a weak high because it has breaking, it has been taken out. So this place become a strong low. Why this place become a weak high because this strong low was responsible. This uh, uh, this here was responsible for the taking out of this engulfing, so it become a very strong low. Mm? So it, it takes it out. But here now we have a strong high because of what? Because it's clear is it, there was a displacement coming down. So if it took it took down this place now, this place become a strong high. This becomes a strong blow. But for now, this is a strong blow because it has never been taken out. Until when it is taken out, before we can now say, as uh, conclude that uh, it is a failed blow or a weak blow. So price tap into this. Price tap to create another, you know, another, it doesn't enter the zone, the DC. But probably, maybe we do not. That's why I say sometimes you can have a, a, a disadvantage if you don't put your this in very right. Hmm? You can have disadvantage. You will have if 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 you put your this in right, you have maybe like a one some few pips miss there. You will have come into the your order to pick your order. Hmm? To pick the order. So we have we have the the, the new we have the new uh, this in now. We have a new engulfing a zone, right? If this place try to push above here, close above here, this place become a strong low. This place become a failed high, a failed high because it has been taken out. Mm -hmm. It become a failed or a flipped engulfing. So we are using this right now as a bullish engulfing zone. If market comes into it, we buy. Mm -hmm. And you see that market comes to that, we buy. So, but you take note of this place. Take note of this place. It has it's tried to create another, another this in there. So that's how to use a golf. You can use a golf to scalp the market up and down. So our target will be to, to target that high or go to a, a higher time frame and see the nearest high. So it does not break. It does not close below the low. As long as it does not close below the low. So we have our trade hit at, and you see that so it meets your, your first target is taken out. The price breakthrough. So this place now become what? It's now become your what? You are buying again. You can see you can use this opportunity to do what? You can use this opportunity to, to set your DC up and down, up and down. You both there, at the same time, you are using this as an, or a continuation uh, pattern to, to, to re enter buy. So next jump pattern to re-enter by. See, all these are new retest of this. This is a gap. This is a gap. So that's that is so you can go to your chart, open up your chart and see a golfing, a golfing being retested, a golfing taken out as failed a golfing, a golf and a golfing being retested. Like this place now, this is a this is. This is a, a golfy and price tap into it and comes down. Comes down. This is filled a golfy. This is filled a golfy here. Filled a bullish a golfy. Hmm? It was broken through here. 
was broken through. It was broken through here. Hmm? It was broken through after breaking through because this place was responsible for the breaking of the civil click. It becomes say high and price continues to zigzag. You are moving to the zone. And what you see said, you have put up your sell signal there. Then this is a very bullish engulfy pattern. So that is how to that is the effect of a engulfy pattern in the market. You know, then we go straight to the hidden engulfing. Hidden engulfing, I told you, is when you have a two candlestick, one like this, then the other one, which like this. Yeah, so then probably you have a, a, a an upper week here. You have an upper week there, and you have here a lower week, right? So you want to do what you want to trace this place into the high. If you go to a lower time frame to see the golfing, if you go to the lower time you to see a golfing, you will see something like this. Or this is what is being interpreted in the lower time frame. One price mm, move for buyers move up, mm, creates a high. Mm, this they create a high, but they got to be rejected. They got to be rejected downward. And you see that they got to be rejected down to this level. Mm, the next candlestick opens there and comes lower again, push it lower again to this level, level of low. Then finally. You have buyers continue the journey from there, breaking through in that level, that uh, uh, previous uh, high. They broke through it and end up becoming like this. So this place has now become what we call a refined uh, engulfing zone. So this place becomes a refined engulfing zone. Engulfing zone. We are going to look into chart to see how this how this uh, this informs, yeah, and how far price reacts. Go to react to it. If you have it as a bullish candle, sorry, as a bearish candle, then the next one opens lower, right? The next one opens lower. Then you have your week. This is the lower week. It could be smaller. It could be longer. It doesn't matter as long as it. Is possess a week. As long as it possess a week. Mm -hmm. So what this information tells us is this. This is the this is the high of that upper week, and this is the low of the lower week. Mm -hmm. So if this is a higher time frame, if you if you got this in a higher time frame, like four hours or higher time frame. HTF higher time frame. You got this in a higher time frame. This is a higher time frame. While in your lower time frame, LTF, lower time frame, refinement, you want to see a breakout structure in a lower time frame. Hmm? The lower time frame breakout like this. You want to see a lower time breakout. So what happens that the price will come down? If you go to lower time, this is how it will be interpreted. It will be displayed. But for you to know that it's a hidden, this is, it makes a, a low there, then pushed to close here at this level, close here, right? As it closes there, hmm, it closes there. The second, this thing here, the second candle opens and pushed higher. So this level of high, hmm? it starts coming down. Sellers will try to battle it down, battle it down, battle it down to this low, lower low, to this new low. So this place has become what we call a government zone, a government zone, a government zone, and a government zone, which is which was hidden in a higher time frame, which was hidden in a higher time frame. And govern zone.
Twenty billion pair and, and, and I got it through. I was hidden. And so you, you you want to see price move into this place and do what? Price must move here. Price will move here and start coming down. That's what it takes. Here, price will move from here. Price will move here and then going up. That is the that is the logic. So whenever you see this in a in a in a in a trend, please take note, take note, take note. Now, for example, this place now is a kind of it's a kind of a hidden a government zone. Hidden a government zone. When you see it be retested, This is a hidden area of zone. And you see the candles, it, it, it could come in a different range. As long as this place has a a, a weak, a, 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 a dodgy or a tiny under this thing, it's see the same thing as a gap. Because these are it's, these are insignificant candles. They represent no volume or low volume markets. This is impulse. You must have an impulse. Hmm? First candle must be impulse. The seven one two must be impulse. If there is no impulse, you have a, 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 a weak candle in between. Hmm? If you have a weak candle in between, something like this, you have a doji or a series of a spinning top. That indicates what? That indicates a low volume, no volume market. Yeah, a range, low volume market. So it's still considered as a hidden and goffy or a, 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 a gap SNR. Is it considered as? You can have this as 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 the like theory of death, like what you have here. Hmm? This is this is this is a low a low range body. This is an impulse. This is an impulse. So this is what this is what we call in supply and demand. We call it a rally based rally. Hmm. So that's how to identify this. Thing. If we if we refine this place lower now, if we circle it out and you refine it lower, you will see that you get something like, like this pattern, a zigzag. You have something like this. You have something like this. That this price is trying to react reacting to. Yeah. You must have something like that. So if you take it lower to like maybe like Two hours. Let me check the date. That's it on the sixth of June. On the sixth of June, at uh, two hours or one hour. The sixth of June. Yeah. So this is it. That's the place we circle lot, right? You can see it. I see the zigzag formation. I see the zigzag formation. Price move higher, come here, and this place it comes into it. So once you, you get this, you have it helps you to to lower your risk level here. So you are going to mark that place out as what well, as your bullish and goffy. And uh, price will tap into it. This bullish and goffy within that gap uh, uh, range. And you see that. So that is the problem for you to refine your your chart. That's the problem for you to recharge before you buy. This is a gap too. Can you see it? So this is a gap too. A gap. So this is a gap. See that you can refine it to a lower. Let's see the one that is closer. So that will not be disrupted. You can find in different time frame. Doesn't really matter the this For the higher the time frame, the Better the most different it is. Yeah. Most different it is. So you can find it in a, in a different uh, uh DC. Yeah. And let's watch for find it different. Yeah, something like this. Have this. This is a this is a gap, right? This is a gap. Mm -hmm. If we select circle out this piece. 
Let's apply this one. This power equal to like 30 minutes. Let's see 30 minutes. What happens in 30 minutes? Yeah, you can see the move here. Then you can still go lower to 50 minutes. So see that move in 50 minutes. So you can see the egg in there. This is the egg inside. See the egg wow, powerful. See the egg inside. This is the egg So you mark it out, you mark it out, you mark it out. Mm -hmm. And you see it's inside the, that EDC and then, uh, and what happened? Oh la la, see price tap into it. You can imagine what you are getting here. You just put up your, just put up your, your, Your short uh, this is, and uh, you know, and you target what well, you target this low. Hmm? You target this low. A price tap into it. And you can imagine price tap into it and it please your order. You have almost about the uh, times ten, times ten risk reward risk reward ratio. Because you're able to narrow it down. That's a chart. That's a refinement for you. Be able to narrow it down into a lower a lower time frame. We able to narrow it down to refine it to a lower time frame. That's why you got that. Uh, you see there. I see the advantage of refining your. They help you to reduce your risk of entry. Yeah, this it is this this is a gap. This is a gap. So whenever you see this thing like this, hmm, I see coming behind it. This is a gap. So that's for that egg of that that is for the this thing there. Then we go straight into. We to the next topic. I believe you must have understood due to other uh, uh, come to time with the with our this in varieties of engulfing. I told you the regular engulfing pattern, then the 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 failed engulfing or flip engulfing. That when the way engulfing fails, uh, that's where price break out of the zone. You know, against the expectation of of your direction. So you change over. You change over. Then we have the Hidden a golfing in the manner we're able to do some justice so a lot of listen to that in the manner. Uh, yeah, in the manner we're able to do justice to that. I think I, I forgot to what I'm sorry, we're able to do the So let me see what the book. So this is what we refine here. Can you see that? We have a gap here. Then we when we refine it into this is four hours. We refine it to 30 minutes. This is what we get. The, this is the entirety of this red rectangular box represents the hidden egofi in in four hours. But when we refine, we're able to get this smaller engulfing top. And we have a good cell here. Very good cell. And, and, we, and we have this second one again. Hmm? This one and this one. Is here, so we have this second one again as a good opportunity to sell at a low, 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 lower, lower risk, the low risk. Mm -hmm. So that's a goffy for you. This is a gap. This is a gap. Mm -hmm. We have an impulse followed by a range, then an impulse, mm -hmm. rally base rally, and a, and a, a, a doji in between represent it is some markets. Yeah, so. And price tap into it and go higher. So that means if you if you refine this place now, you get what you get something like this. You get something like this. Zag. So price will come into the zone and tap into the move to start moving higher. So that is what it represents. Then we have this as a field. This is a flip engulfing. And you see that this is a flip engulfing. So price tap into it. Then we have this as a bullish engulfing. Price tap into it and move higher. We have this as a field engulfing. Mm -hmm. Price tap into it and moves higher. Failure golfing pattern. 
the zone here, we draw the zone forward, press tap into this zone and move higher. This is a failed uh, golfing when it was broken up upward. You got that what happened, look at what happened here. Right? So that's that's the timing your trade. So you can use So you can use a golfing to time your trade, especially when a new market opening or session. During the new market opening session, you can use a golfing. You know, when price tap into the zone at a, at New York time or London uh, opening session, you can use a golfing to your advantage because that's where you are going to see uh, liquidity, right? Yeah. So price tap into this place and move. This is a golfing zone, right? And it moves higher. Fire. Yeah, it has been taken out. This is a bearish and golfy pattern. It was broken through. It becomes a what it becomes a new level of a pattern. This is a flip. This now become a flip a golfy. So that's why price come here, tap into it, and then move, start moving higher again. Hmm? So that is a golfy for you. Well, maybe when we come back, then we'll talk about how. And this, this is the trade plan, the trade plan. When we come back, we'll, come, we'll talk about this uh, trade plan. Talk about this trade plan. Entry confirmation, we'll talk about entry confirmation, the setup, right? Before we go to finally into trend line. We'll see how more is it to do that. Can I go to trend line? Let me see what other things we have. So trade plans, yeah. So we talk about we talk about uh, this. Thing. So when we come back, we we'll 